Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Fundu Tester. This is Nisan Goel. From today, we are going to start test case design technique. In this, we are going to cover different types of test case design technique. We will start with the equivalence partitioning, then boundary value analysis, decision table, state transition testing. So, all these techniques we are going to cover in future session. Today, we will start with the equivalence partitioning after a small video. Before that, don't forget to like. Share or subscribe for new test. Camera rolling action. So let's start with the equivalence partitioning. First of all, what is the definition of equivalence partitioning? Let's take a look. Equivalence partitioning is a black box test design technique in which test cases are designed to execute representatives from equivalent partitioning. In principle, test cases are designed to cover each partition at least once. So basically, it was a definition of the equivalence partitioning. Equivalence partitioning. What does it mean? Let's say we are working on any scenario and we have to cover multiple permutation and combination. By that time, we can go with the equivalence partitioning. Here, we can apply equivalence partitioning at all levels of the testing. Later on, we can divide inputs based on the scenario the aim is to reducing test if we are not going with the equivalent partitioning then we have to perform multiple tests the aim is to reduce number of tests and to cover maximum area lastly last is a we can combine equivalence partitioning with the boundary value analysis as well and Using equivalence partitioning, we can cover functional testing and we can find a defect in an area of a functional testing. So, let's understand with the real time example. Let's say application is a employee software or HR software based on the appreciation or based on the year completion. Year completion each employee will get yearly bonus. So, here is a scenario. For example, for each and every employee, by default, they are going to get $500 as a yearly bonus. Top of the CTC or salary. Later on, in particular year, if that particular employee received any client appreciation or a product appreciation, by that time, he will get extra $200. The condition is more than two client appreciation. Later on, if that employee has received a client appreciation one or two any number and he or she has completed five years in a company then he will get additional hundred bucks as a additional bonus so we will see how we can how we can design equivalence partitioning test cases for this scenario so here first of all we can cover in multiple areas so first of all based on the value we can design the test cases so here value will be in in a range or out of the range so we have to divide the range or we have to consider the range so for example here the scenario is 2 and here number is a 5 so it will be less than 5 is equal to 5 greater than 5 this will be a range in range or out range similar way for this also we can create a range so less than 2 is equal to 2 or greater than 2 less than is equal to or greater than 2 and another is a boolean so for this condition we have to go with the boolean he or she is an employee or not if he has resigned and he has switched to the company then we cannot give a yearly bonus so we can mention true or false so here are few scenarios based on that we can perform a testing first of all i have divided into a work history which is a for every employee Second is a client appreciation if that employee has received a client appreciation or not and later on if he has completed five years or not. So as a first scenario I am considering he is a current employee and he has received more than two client appreciation which is greater than two and he has completed five years as well. So in that case he will get 500 here. He will get 200 here. $200 and he will get additional $100 as well. So total 
he will get 800 as a yearly bonus now we'll move to the second scenario if he has resigned he is serving a notice period or he or she is no more employer of that particular company so in that case no need to go with the client appreciation or yes simply we are we can define boolean status as a false and by default bonus will be zero next scenario is we have divided here we have mentioned true value so which is a, I, he will get 500 bonus yearly bonus along with the client uh, appreciation so he has re, he has received more than two more than two appreciations so he will get 200 dollar but he has not completed five years so here in this scenario it is not fulfilling he is he or she is not fulfilling five years plus scenario so here in this case he will receive a zero so to, in total he will get 700 as a yearly bonus we can take a look of another scenario so here he will get by default 500 as a yearly bonus because he is an employer later on he has not received client appreciation or he has not received more than two so in that case this will be zero but again this scenario he or she is fulfilling he has completed five years so he will get 100 bucks here so in total he will get 600 dollars or 600 bucks last scenario we will consider this as a true and these two scenario is a out of range so less than two less than five so he, he has not received any appreciation and he has not completed five years so in that case he will get 500 bucks here but this scenario will be a zero and zero so he will get finally 500 bucks so like that for any scenario we can write a equivalence partitioning test cases and for this scenario i have covered basically five different test cases but still you can cover more test cases i hope you understand and as a homework you have to create further more test cases and you can write in a comment section i will go through those i hope everything is clear and if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in the comment section i will be happy to answer thank you so much we will see you in the next session